Hey, folks, Don Spencer, president of the Oklahoma Second Amendment Association. I want to give you an update on legislation. Basically, we are in the third quarter of this legislative session. That's basically, there was a cutoff date this week. Uh, so we've got some bills through here that I'm going to tell you about. Uh, let's start with House Bill 3056. This was in the Senate Public Safety Committee yesterday. Senator Stewart presented, uh, it's been amended to where it only uh, has to do with being able to store a firearm in a locked uh, personal vehicle on a school property. Uh, again, that bill, you, the firearms cannot leave the property. It's been, like I said, it's been amended. It will have to go back to the House, or actually it still has to go to the Senate floor. Then it'll have to go to the House. So it's still got some traveling to do. Also, what passed out this week, uh, House Bill 1218, uh, Senator or Representative Stiegel uh, passed this out of the House States Powers Committee. Uh, it is an age discrimination bill on buying the purchase of firearms. It's an excellent bill. Um, also, what passed out yesterday, and I should have mentioned this early, at House um, Senate Public Safety, House Bill 2643. Now, folks, this has taken a completely different look on this bill. It was a suppressor bill. It is not a suppressor bill. It has nothing to do with suppressors now. What this is is a medical marijuana that if you have a medical marijuana card, you can also acquire an SDA license. I can't believe we haven't been able to get this done. Uh, Senator Daniels is the one that uh, uh, did this change with Representative uh, uh, Jay Stiegel. So that was passed out of the Senate Public Safety uh, yesterday. It will also have to return to the House for an approval. Also this week, this is a very huge bill. We have to continue to get behind and push. SJR 34, uh, this is for the Judicial Nominating Committee which currently is not even an elected group. It's not even a bureaucracy. It just tells the governor, here's your three judges to pick from for Supreme Court. Uh, you get to pick the best of the worst. And that's why Oklahoma continues to have such a horrible, horrible uh, amount of judges and the reactions that we get. In fact, we have one of the most liberal uh, state Supreme Courts in the country. In the country. We're in the top five. So that was passed this week. We have to get that done also. And that was by Senator Daniels. Now, stuff that was killed. Senator Daniels did two good bills this week. And why she does this, I don't know. But the HJR 1034 on the right to keep and bear arms changing our state constitution. She has killed it again. Uh, she's killed it twice this year. She killed it when the Senate version. She's killed the House version. She's killed it uh, uh, other years also. So I don't know why that is, but that's what she continues to do. Um, that's a terrible choice as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Senate Bill 244. This was moving school elections to the regular election cycle. Uh, it died in the House Rules Committee. That was a little bit disappointing. Also, I will go back to uh, the Senate Public Safety Committee. Folks, Senator Yak killed over 20 bills in this committee uh, this year, including the Private Property Protection Act. Um, it's quite unfortunate that he would continue to do this to claim to be a Second Amendment supporter, but yet kill bill after bill after bill simply because he is does not like OK Two Way doing just like I am right now. Don Spencer doing just like I am right now and reporting to you that he is killing bills and that uh, this is what the response is. So this is, um, that's the part of the Senate swamp. Senator McCourtney uh, fully supports this. Senator Treat fully does too. It's quite unfortunate, but that's where we are. So at least we're grateful for what we have gotten out. But folks, there was plenty of time and ability to do uh, several of the bills we had requested. I'd only ask him to do six of the bills. That was it. Maybe it was just five, five of the bills. So um, uh, that's where that's at. So, folks, that's the update for this week. Uh, like I said, it's third quarter. We're about done, uh, getting close to being done. We can kind of see the end uh, in the near future. Uh, if, if you have any questions, you can go to OK2A association at gmail.com send me an email uh, also you can go to our website and send in uh, a question and also don't be afraid to join uh, we've got a lot of things in front of us elections you'll also notice that we've got a bunch a bunch of people already 
for uh, turned in surveys, and there's also been in some endorsements. Those are on our website. They're also on our social media, and also you can ask your local OK2A coordinator in your area, and he can give you, he and she can give you an update. So again, thank you for your support. We appreciate you very much. Have a good time, good weekend, whatever's left. Thank you.